For any country, a growing population comprising varied age groups can bring with it many challenges, the foremost of which is to ensure that they remain healthy. To promote good health, we need to ensure a robust health system with skilled health workers. But where are the health workers we need? With a vacancy rate of 52% in our public health system, the ratio of nurses to doctors is woefully inadequate. The World Health Organization mandates 2.3 health workers for a thousand people. But in reality, the density of health workers in India is just one-fourth of this value. And in the rural areas, the numbers dwindle further. Apart from shortage, there is also a lack of skills and motivation amongst health workers. The reasons for this disparity include insufficient health facilities, rigid recruitment criteria, and the inability to attract and retain talent. So let's explore these challenges a little more closely. The first challenge in planning is due to 1. An inadequate number of HR professionals within the health system who don't plan and recruit smartly. And 2. Recruitments based on vacancies and not on actual requirements. This inadequate planning then leads to recruitment challenges which comprise 1. Long, tedious, gender-biased recruitment processes due to outdated norms and rules. 2. Migration of health workers due to lack of benefits. There is a large migration from rural to urban areas, leaving rural facilities inadequately staffed. It's an imbalance between the people who quit and those hired. The next challenge is capacity building. Capacity building has mostly been limited to training, which is further hampered by a few training institutes, trainers with limited tools and skills to train, insufficient budgets and poor monitoring post-training. Without sufficient priority given to capacity building for all levels of health workers, existing health workers do not deliver to their potential. The final challenge area is performance management. Outdated or vague job descriptions and processes lead to qualified candidates being employed with no specific objectives or job roles. Traditional methods of appraisals and promotions result in higher attrition. Also, the lack of monitoring results in low accountability and transparency. The challenges are overwhelming for a country like ours. Several measures have been taken up within and outside of the health departments across the country. To significantly advance human resources for public health, India needs to prioritize solutions that can have the greatest impact. States like Rajasthan, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh and Uttarakhand have begun working on HR policies for the health department. This needs to be strengthened to include all cadres and issues. Enforcing a strong state-specific workforce policy is essential. Implementation of policy requires an authority. Madhya Pradesh and Kerala have initiated HR cells within the health department to drive the necessary reforms. Establishing an authority will allow for implementation of policy and ability identify, counter and monitor problems. While Haryana uses a web-based recruitment system, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh have a web-based database of its human resources. Jammu and Kashmir uses its online database to place and rotate its personnel in remote areas. World Health Partners connects remote villages in Bihar and UP with specialists in New Delhi through telemedicine. Technology can be used to connect remote villages with specialists. It can also improve systems, efficiency and accountability. Inclusive management is used by the Indian Army, where issues and problem areas are addressed with active participation of staff. 
हरियाणा छत्तीसगढ़ केरला तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक असम गुजरात मेघालय झारखंड एंड मेनी अदर स्टेट्स हैव एनकरेज्ड वर्किंग इन रूरल एरियाज बाय प्रोवाइडिंग इंसेंटिव्स मॉनेटरी और अदरवाइज in selected districts of Uttarakhand get mobile phones and a minimum recharge amount in Karnataka they get interest free loans to buy two wheelers regular employee assessment and internal monitoring popular across several organizations in India like Arvind Eye Hospital and Kerala Institute of Medical Sciences are necessary for effective management of personnel retention and motivation of all staff is possible through improved infrastructure incentivization and effective management processes capacity building needs assessment is used by the indian railways too as a first step of their capacity building program in jharkhand and uttar pradesh through the vistar project capacity building of supervisors in knowledge skills and attitudes has shown significant improvement in service delivery due to the increased support and motivation of frontline workers multi skilling of medical officers and training doctors of alternative medicine to work as medical practitioners has been taken up by several states to address the shortage of doctors and specialists capacity building is an ongoing process and multi-pronged strategies are necessary to strengthen the different cadres it is crucial to link capacity building with performance management and focus on skills of trainers and mentors sponsoring and training rural women to become nurses under the swavalamban yojana in madhya pradesh and recruiting health workers from tribal communities in chatisgarh Karnataka, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu has allowed service delivery in difficult areas. Young girls from local communities recruited as ophthalmic personnel at Arvind Eye Hospital have a career progression that allows them to become clinical coordinators or head of department in 10 years. Recruitment, training and retention of local men and women into the health workforce can improve service delivery in remote and difficult areas management and upgradation of the infrastructure of some public health facilities in arunachal pradesh assam bihar meghalaya madhya pradesh orissa and west bengal has been taken up with private sector organizations identifying gaps within the health system and strategically engaging the private sector can increase access and quality of services an innovative and progressive system of managing human resources which will give way to a strong qualified health workforce and a happy work environment because a skilled and motivated workforce is the catalyst for a healthier india